Hello. Uh, yeah, it's Paul. And uh, yeah, look up. I've got two, four, six, seven. And I just unboxed one today. So yeah, I just thought it'd be a good start back on these because as you can see, I have got so bloody many of the things. So it needs to be done. And also, I have my PlayStation in the background, so hopefully that doesn't interfere with the audio or whatever. But on this one, I am going to do an unboxing. Well, I've got a... Well, not unboxing, I've got a package here, so I thought I'd do that in this video. Because that game... That, uh, it's, it's a video game. A PlayStation 2 video game and a very rare survival horror video game. And I'm going to unbox it uh, after I'm finished with this, because of, hopefully... Will be worth it. Anyway, so uh, we are on issue forty. Yeah, I I didn't have a with this one. I did have a package like that. It came in that big black bin liner there. Yeah, I'm not kidding. That's how it came in the post. So a false point to take it out. So yeah, today we've got I'm William and whoever that is. It looks like a guy off. It looks like a guy off um, Yakuza. And also this. Right, I'm going to do this first because you if you watch my previous videos, then you'll know what it is. Or if, you, or if you collect this yourself, then you'll probably know what it is. Because I know what it is without even looking at it. It's probably another stand. If, if I am correct. God, such a bust of these. Yep, it's another stand. Right, I'm not going to bother opening that because I've got so many of them anyway. So, let's get to it. Uh, first, what we're going to do... I'm walling. And Oh, yes, I'm not doing... Oh, yeah, that's, that's the guy. Whoever that is. He's probably off a comic book. So, yeah, um, I'm doing this in my... Well, was my mum's bedroom, as you can tell. Double bed, yeah. But I thought I'd do it in, in this room. Well, it's not really my mum's room anymore. It's not a spare room, so... I thought I'd do it in here today before, you know, because it has better lighting. In, it has better lighting, you know, from the window. So hopefully it'd be a lot better. And if it is, I'm gonna start doing videos in here. Let's look at I'm Wally. Hmm. Not bad. Not too bad. Yeah, I'm Wally. Right. So, get out of the way. Come on. Focus. Thank you. Alright, first things first. Legendary Mentor. As a mentor of the Living Team Brotherhood, hmm. Amalim is an effective but sacred leader. Amalim works with the Knights Templar and obtain an Apple of Eden. Uh, not really. That's kind of false works with the knights templar that's kind of not true because he had out if you played the first game he played um he played he got altair to kill all the nine members he was going to share with that piece of inning because he was going to share it but amalim chose to keep it for himself so he didn't really work with the knights templar so and if he did and if he did and i'm wrong please comment below and let me know all right oh i like that yeah, I forgot I need to fold the pages because of the light because I did light yeah. this is a pretty decent photo look at that that's pretty oh, that is actually pretty awesome that's really really cool anyway right, right. died in 1191 yeah, 1191 AD blind in one eye oh yeah how did he I'm like he's blind in his right eye how he lost his sight is unknown but it was likely the result of an f yeah. So here we go. I'm morning. finally dressed. Also known as the old man of the mountain. Wow, I didn't know that. Adopted name. Amalim translates to the mentor. Huh. I didn't know that either. I don't remember him wearing I don't remember him wearing that. I really don't remember. It's been a long time since I played. I know, he def I know he definitely doesn't wear that in the first game. Oh wait, yeah he does. It's just, it's just better detailed on a picture than it is 
Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, that's when um, William de Sable came to Masiaf. I remember that. There you go. You know the issue. I'm going to let you pause that and read that. Because if I read every single paragraph in this magazine, I'll be here for an hour. Well, not an hour, but you know. A well educated man. Hmm. Yep, I remember that very well. Like any task, knowledge precedes action. Information. Oh yeah, that's the and that's at the end. Might I might tilt it a little bit for the light. Hmm. Yeah, I remember that. And while I'm using a piece of interface. Yeah. Yep. I'm gonna just I'm just gonna scan through it. You can just pause it and read it. Yep. No, oh, yes, I'll tell you my favourite assassin in the entire series. He's my absolute favourite. I'm, I'm only more. I'll tell you, the Ben Lahad. Was it, uh, or is it, a Ben Lahad? I'll say a Ben Lahad. I don't know. I've heard people say his second name different ways, so I'm just gonna call him. I'll tell you, the Ben Lahad. Because <laughs> that's how I pronounce him. <laughs> yeah, you done with that? Oh, oh shit! I'm only at the age of twenty-five. I'll say was the youngest person yet to achieve the rank of master assassin. Ah, so he was 25 when he was drunk, Master Assassin, eh? Very, very cool. Right, that's... Um, Revelations. Which is one of my favourite games in the Ezio trilogy. I know a lot of people might disagree. Do you remember what I'll say? What the Assassins fight for? Peace in all things. Yes, in all things. It is not enough to, to end the violence one man is upon another. It refers to... It refers to peace. Uh, I can't read today. I don't know what it is when I start reading these on camera. I just can't bloody read. <laughs> Dark Knight. Batman in this. There he is. Robert de Sable. What is it? Robert. Robert. Yeah. Robert. Yeah, it is. Robert. But for some reason in the game, they call it Robert. <laughs> which makes no sense. Don't know. Maybe, that, maybe that's how they pronounced that name back in them days. Hmm. That man is our greatest enemy. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Roberto Sabo. Oh. Yeah, that's that's the beginning of the game. In Solomon's Temple. Oh, that's cool. I like that. War of Peace. Right. <clears throat> Driven by what you believe is a high purpose, Hamlin will stop at nothing in his quest to, for absolute peace. Uh, mm, even if it means betraying the Brotherhood. Mm, I'm pause the other ambitious office. Right, in 1162, Hamlin left on a moot to launch the second Brotherhood base at Masyaf in western Syria. Mm. Oh, yeah, and by the way, Masyaf is actually a real place in Syria, but it just remained, it's but um, it's just all ruins. But the assassins were real in real life, but obviously they didn't look like that. <laughs> but yeah, if you look it up, I'm serious. Masyaf is an actual real place in Syria where the assassins uh, hide out, I think. Quest for that apple. Oh, uh, yeah, Malik. I remember him. I'm just scanning through it. Injured. Oh yeah, lost his bullet. Oh bloody hell. The worst of all your betrayals. Oh yeah, never compromise the Brotherhood. It means it should be obvious. Your actions must never bring harm upon us, direct or indirect. Yet your selfish acts beneath realism placed us all in danger. Worse still, 
you brought the enemy to our home. Every man we've lost today was lost because of you. I'm sorry, truly I am, but I'm not. <laughs> but I cannot obey a traitor. Yeah, I'm, I am not a traitor. <laughs> Hmm. Defense of Masyaf. Yeah. Oh, that's... Wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Go to God! <whistles> Remember that very well. Believe, believe it or not, I actually still play the first Assassin's Creed. I was playing it yesterday on my PlayStation. That's really, really cool. Well, it is really, really cool. Come on. Focus. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You just asked that, asked that report. Yeah. Not a bit better. <laughs> the sun's come out. I'll tell you. Yeah, this doesn't make sense. Uh, Am Walliam stabs him, and somehow he survived. I have no idea why. Oh yeah, I remember him. He's um, oh, what's his name? Fuck, he's my he's my favorite target in the game. Yeah, then he pulled back. Hmm. He died at Altair's hand. Yes, he did. No, oh, I like this one. Death. Yeah. I'll tell you, sorry, if you can hear that in the background, I'm scratching my chest. Ugh. Horrible. Yeah, anyway. I'll tell you, return to Master to find that Amalim has used Apple of Eden's powers to force the community of Master Mas to follow his will. Hmm. There can be no true peace without order. Yeah, I suppose he's right. Oh, I remember that scene. Impossible. The student does not defeat the teacher. Yeah, <laughs> you can tell I'm a proper nerd on the first Assassin's Creed. I absolutely love that game to death. Like I said, I still play it today. It's an awesome game. And now, training camp, see? Hmm. Yeah, massive. Hmm. Oh, this one's cool. Looks like something out of the Elder Scrolls. <laughs> oh, God. Sorry, guys. The young chest is really itchy. Anamut. Where's that? Where is that? Hmm. Yeah, fair enough. Oh god, that's awesome. Look at that. How cool is that? That is so cool, that. Wow. That is really, really cool. I, mean, I don't know why I just lay it out like that. Hmm. This piece of silver cast out. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I keep knocking the bloody tripod. Cast out Adam and Eve. It turns staves into snakes. Bring them towards the Red Sea. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Apple of Eden. We all know what the Apple of Eden is. Yeah, Ark of the Covenant. Yeah. And there it is. On the piece of Eden. I need to tilt it though, because if I do that, look, it's dark. If I do that, it's lighter for you, so you can see. Mm. Now it's this, this Japanese fella that I've never even heard of. Hmm, interesting. 
Interesting, interesting, interesting. Here's the figure again. Mm, not bad. The clock's well designed. It's just, all, I don't know what it is with these figures. It's always that face. They can never get the face right. Everything else is great. It's just the bloody damn face. Come on. Focus. Thank you. All right. Issue, ooh. William Miles. Hmm. Right, who is this guy? The thing is, what, if he's an assassin, he doesn't have a hidden blade. It just has a big ass katana. I say, it looks like it looks like that guy out of, out of uh, Yakuza. <laughs> what's he? What's he called? No, I can't pronounce that. Um, I can't pronounce that. A. Uh, Kaiyoshi Takura, Kiyoshi Takura. I don't, I don't know. So anyway, who is this guy? I have no idea who he is. Hmm. Oh yeah, it's with a. Oh, I did a video on her. Is it that Charlotte? Charlotte de la Cruz, what's she called? Oh, that hidden plate's that hidden blade's cool. Hmm. So instead of a hidden blade, he's got a big ass katana. Man of many talents. Hmm. Yeah, sun's just come out. Ugh. I knew we should have bloody shut the curtains. Alright, there he is. Yeah, I think he's out of a comic book. Birthday unknown. Okay. Japanese assassin originally works for the with a Yakuza faction. Phoenix Project. Have it? Yeah, I got it. Got it right. Shout out to the Cruise. Cruise. Yeah, I got it right. What the fuck? Doing like a somersault. What the hell? Doing like a somersault and he's like flying midair with a sword in his hand. Hmm, so is that him? Tall and slim. Hmm. Three buttons undone. Yeah, to show off his tattoo folder. Keep knocking this bloody camera. Apologise for that. Yo, that's awesome. That is really cool. Damn. Holy crap. Oh, flip the page. Forgot. What the hell? She's tougher than she looks. Why is she an assassin as well? Yeah, it's pretty long, long, so don't add it that much. I just need protein. Find me something in this awful city that doesn't come fi fried or battered. What? So you don't like fried chicken? You disrespectful guy. <laughs> I'm only asking. The boy with the dragon tattoos. Hmm. Yeah, definitely from the comic book. Definitely. Definitely. Ugh. Ah, this is team. I rend. Okay. Yeah, no shot. Fucking all the light. Charlotte. This Phoenix Project. Yeah, you hear that in uh, Assassin's Creed 4. So if you look around the uh, Abstergo lab, you see stuff about uh, 
the uh, thingy project. Oh yeah, man, yeah. Altair 2. That's a, it's a ship called Altair 2. And that'll not make it up. Sorry. I didn't fart there. <laughs> if you heard that. There's literally like a wardrobe right behind me and my feet are against it. Hmm. Ooh, Leila Hassan. Nice. Yeah, again. Phoenix Project. Use this. Instruments. The first word. Juno Cult. What? Oh, yeah, them two off Rogue. Yeah. I know them two. They're off Rogue. Oh, Phoenix Project. Here we go. Whatever orders Phoenix Project was designed to sequence the triple hands. Bloody light. Jesus Christ, I apologise for that. There we go. Hmm. So, who's that? Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that, but okay. Come on. Focus. Focus, thank you. Oh my god, these are awesome. That's really cool, that. Hmm, that is really cool. Was it in Japan or something? Oh, yeah, it must be. <sighs> I apologise. I'm pretty, I'm pretty tired. Right. The hunt begins. Hmm. Extraction. Hmm. Working with Charlotte. Oh, there they are. Yeah, I just saw him there. <laughs> I didn't even see him at first. Hong Kong. Still got entertainment campus in Montreal. Fair enough. Hmm. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I can't wait to read through this properly. What the fucking... I guess not here. Oh, that's cool. Why does he look like uh, Logan out Dead Island? I don't know. He, look, he reminds me of Logan out Dead Island. <laughs> she's probably the best one out of all of them. Because you, know, you know she's an assassin. But the rest of it, he's got knuckle dusters on. He's got a sword. What's he got? He's got a book in his hand. What's he gonna do? Throw it at the face. Death by iPad. Oh, come on, focus, please. Focus. It's goddamn light. There we go. So annoying. And if it's irritating, I do apologise. I thought it actually focuses quite well on the sun shining on it, even though it does get really annoying. What's that? That diamond. Right, there, ooh, what the f... Where's that Wonder Woman? <laughs> what the hell? Juno body clone. What? So they cloned the first civilization people? Presents his Juno body clone. What?
Oh, she's dead. Charlotte kills Juno in the nick of time. Fair enough. We're at the end of the Phoenix Project, right, okay. Oh, it held in Australia, right. The son of Desmond Miles. What? Okay. Oh yeah, that's Al the uh, that's the Aldi Altair too. See, I told you it was a ship. Look, see Altair two. See, I told you we're making it up. Altair two. Pretty stupid name though. To name your ship. Ugh. Getting crap in me. I'm holding this. Phoenix Project Lab. Hmm. I guess the lab's all in ruins. I guess. Hmm. Yeah. This is my That's cool. I like that, that's pretty cool. Alright, the katana, yeah, what's the katana for? Fuck, fuck me. Oh yeah. Obviously I don't know what it's for. <laughs> it's for killing people. Hmm. Training violence from an early age. His beloved katana. <laughs> He's got a gun as well. <laughs> Bloody hell. So they've got hidden blades, guns, knuckle dusters, and a katana. We don't... We only carry more guns. Guns are useful. <laughs> what the hell? He's got a rocket launcher there. But bloody Jesus Christ! They're proper stocked up, aren't they? Jesus Christ! Yeah, I might have to look this guy up. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty instant. Pretty good read. Well. I don't know what I'm talking about. It will be a good read later when I read through this. So, out of two, which was the best one? Um, I'd go with Armour Limbs issue. Because I know a lot more than Armour Limbs than I do with this guy. This guy I've never even heard of before. He's in a comic book. That's what it looks like anyway, so. So, yeah. And also, let me know what you, yeah, let me know if, what's your, what were your favourite. Mine's Am Wallium. So, let's get to this, to this. So, I've got a little thing here. Let's get into this. Ah, yes. So, this is Forbidden Siren. If you, if you're not heard of, if you've not heard of that game before, that is getting a very very rare if you believe me or not so this is get this is a, a survival horror game that i used to play a lot when i was younger it's absolutely brilliant game it's super scary as well that's what i like about it it's really really scary you can't really see it properly but uh, i'm gonna play this as soon as i'm done with this i'm gonna play it yeah, it is super scary one of the best survival horror games, I think, on the PlayStation 2. 
And like I said, that little fucker there is getting rare. So that's the main reason why I got it before I run out. Oh, let's have a look. Holy shit. What the fuck? Wow. Okay, that's a little bit. Oh, it's a postcard. Yeah. It's a postcard. Imagine having that as a postcard. Jesus Christ, that scared the shit out of you. Scary game, really scary. Hmm. Now, main thing, let's have a look at the disc. Ah. Not bad nick, actually. Mm. Oop, pardon me. Yeah, not bad nick at all. Yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to playing this. Like I said, it's one of my favourite, well, it was one of my favourite survival horror games I played on PlayStation 2. So, Anyway, holy crap, this video is 31 minutes long. Okay, um, so yeah, um, I can't wait to get to through all them because it's going to take me a long time to get through. Anyway, that sun is shining. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you soon.